Hey, Libra, how are you? Oh, man, Libra, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, as you can see, I'm trying something new and different. So thank you guys so much for your patience and your love and your support, your energy. You guys, y'all are so appreciated. Like, y'all don't even understand. Okay, so Libra, let's go ahead and take a look at your energies for the second, or no, I'm sorry, the first half of September uh, of 2019. Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Of course, if the messages don't resonate, then just leave it where it is, all right? Let's go ahead and get a general overview for Libra. So Libra, the message that we have to come out for you is gut instinct, number 19, <laughs> gut instinct. This is definitely that sacral energy, not sacral, but uh, solar plex energy. Um, This is like that gut feeling type of energy, you know? Pay attention to your instincts. Pay attention to your, um, your senses. Trust them. Okay? Your first gut, your first gut instinct feeling often will be probably the closest to the right answer, if not the right answer, okay? Let's go ahead and pull some more energy. I feel like when you know it, you'll know it. It's like it's going to be bold. It's going to be bold. Again, I'm Libra, you you have been playing with Leo energy for like some of the past couple of reads. So this may indicate that there may be a Leo around you as well. And, um, you know, uh, pay attention to them. They may be somebody that, they, that you can trust. I feel like they um, represent themselves as someone that you can trust. Okay, but you're going to have to just, you know, feel them out a little bit. What does your gut tell you about this person or about the situation that you and this person are involving yourselves in? Okay. And that doesn't mean that there's anything bad. Okay. But what it does mean is that spirit is just saying spirit is teaching you about um, trusting your instincts with people. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull some more sign energy. Or in or science from spirit. Okay. Okay. Listen, Libra. The first card that I have is eyes. Revealing. You are going to know the truth instantly. All it's going to take is for you to look that person in their eye the right way and say, listen, what's up? Just the gaze that this person gives you, they're going to be honest with you. OK, now this not again, this does not mean that this person has something bad to tell you or or whatever. For most of you, I really just feel like this is where, you know, um, or, or rather for some of you, I, I, I feel like this person. It may be a good thing. OK. Um, because the next card that we have is angel number 222, which tells us to pay attention to the people again that are in our relationships that are around us, which is what we were uh, just talking about here before we even pulled these cards, you know. Um, make sure that you're getting your fair share in certain partnerships, okay? Make sure that you're getting your fair share of your friends, and then make sure that your friends 
are getting their fair share of you as well. Okay, the next card we have is door transformation. All right. So spirit has really been pushing you in a direction to make certain changes to make um, to make certain moves, to open certain doors. Spirit has unlocked certain doors for you and um now with that being said though, you know, um there's spirits of purity and then there's, you know, spirits that just aren't that pure. And so, you know, this is where, you know, there may be doors locked in either direction, but you're gonna have to be able to discern and use your gut feeling and your gut instincts to know who uh will lead you down a certain path. And I say who because I feel like this is again about your uh the people that are around you, your 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 circle, your entourage, maybe. You know, you need these people to be truthful with you. You need them to be honest with you. OK, so let's go ahead and pull some tarot. Libra, I feel like you. Um, I feel like you have like a built-in lie detector. Like you have a built-in bullshit detector. Where it's just like, I know you, I know. I know you trying to run one over me. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put an end, put a stop, close the door on this particular relationship. Um, because you're trying to pull one over on me. Others of you, it's where, oh, I see where you're being genuine by the look in your eye. Um, I feel that from you. So, you know. Yes, let's exchange, let's communicate, let's cross paths accidentally. You know how that goes. <laughs> cross paths purposely on accident. Let's go ahead and get the tarot pulled here. All right, one more shuffle for my Libras. Ooh, we had a shoot. Ooh, a card just shot right on out. Oh, it's the Nine of Cups. Oh, wow. Nine of Cups wanted to tell us something. What does the Nine of Cups want to tell us, Spirit? Okay, yeah. Listen, Libra, the Nine of Cups is telling us to, 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 to remain hopeful that there are people in your life that mean you good and that mean you well, okay? You may be dealing with an Aquarius. Um... This Aquarius may have a lot of love for you, okay? You may be um, about to start something new with this Aquarius. Uh, I feel like you may be, um, you know, tr you. for some of you guys, if this is, uh, like your gut feeling is telling you, like, this person is someone who's truthful, honest, the, the person that you can, you know, open doors with for the rest of your life, okay? That's just, oh, that's for somebody. For others of you, this is just saying that spirit just needs you to remain hopeful. And, um, you know, you're going to get that dream come true. Those are two dream come true cards, the Nine of Cups and the uh, Star card. So what you hope for, what you've been dreaming for, finally comes to fruition. And you're a happy camper. All right, let's go ahead and get the message. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Six of Swords. Six of Swords, Four of Wands. So Libra, you may be moving. You may be moving homes. You know, you may be taking your family. You may be making plans to do that. But I feel like you're trying to do something for the last time. Like this is like the final move that you're trying to make. Like I'm not gonna move anymore. You know, I'm gonna whatever I'm leaving behind. I'm going to make sure that um, it's like whatever I'm leaving behind, I'm going to make sure that the door is closed there. And at the same time, I feel like you've put a lot of thought in uh, you've put a lot of thought in here. To, uh, you've put a lot of thought into this decision to make sure that you're not, um, you know, looking at the situation from like an obscure type of view. OK. Um, Wow. Let's clarify this. Oh, OK. 
okay some of you guys may be needing to make this certain move to bring balance to your relationship um or just balance to your life in general you may be just trying to look for a home that you can really settle down at um and you don't want to be too brash about it but at the same time it's like you know you know, you, things are beginning to happen to you. Things are starting to change. You know that now is the time to do so. All right. Ooh, yeah. Six of Swords is being clarified with the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, you're making plans. You're putting something together. You're getting some blueprints in order. All right, the Four of Wands is clarified by the Strength card. So there's that Leo energy again right there. Okay, so you're really exercising, um, you know, Libra. I really feel like you're really coming from a calm place about this. You know, the thing about Libras is, is that, you know, you never can make up your mind, right? Because you can see all the pros and cons from different sides. From every side but once you do finally make up your mind you're very strong in it okay and it's really hard to not to unmake up your mind unless you get distracted in another place and that's where this double card comes in here again because there are certain things that you need to move away from because they're doing you no good there's certain people around you that are doing no good and so the card under the deck there that clarifies the seven of cups here is the two of wands so this is, again, a new direction, a new path here. Someone, some person. Oh, wow, look, under there. Oh, my goodness. Under there was the uh, the Queen of Wands. So that could be that Leo there, male or female. But, again, Leo energy is just running wild here, Libra. This is interesting. Oh, my goodness. Libra. I haven't done Leo's reading yet. I'm interested in seeing what Leo says. But there's definitely been like this Leo-Libra connection here for like the past couple of months um, that I've been noticing. I've mentioned Leo in a lot of the Libra readings, okay? Um, <clears throat> again, this may be where you just, you know, you may have Leo in your chart. All right. How can, how can we navigate through this energy spirit? All right, Spirit wanted to just let us know. All right, so the first card we have here is um, Spirit. You're being protected, okay? Spirit is watching over you. You are being protected, okay? Um, the next card we have here is the Dragon, Strength and Wisdom. Again, Strength and Wisdom, okay? So this is about you. Um, I really, honestly, the way this, I really feel like this is where you need to kind of just trust the messages that you're hearing spiritually okay um you know you're strong enough you, you you're you're hearing these messages because it's for a reason um the next card here that we have is the winds of change so um your surroundings are definitely going to um be different which is like i said we've been talking about a big move that some of you are thinking about making anyways um yeah your surroundings are needing to be different and to be honest with you you're needing to exercise a lot of strength during this time um maybe the okay yes you need to take on the energy of leo in a way libra where this is like okay no more not deciding you need to legit like go forth like a lion and 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 just do you know, and just <clears throat> get out of your head about it and just do it. But I know that you're not going to do that until you actually get to a certain level of comfort, whether it's a certain comfortable level in your environment or not in your environment if you're trying to move. But there's a certain mental comfort that you need to get like you're trying to psych yourself out. OK, and for some of you, that's it. For others of you, it's where you're needing to like really pay attention to um like the people that you're either surrounding yourself with now or if you're moving, you need to pay attention to the people that you will be surrounding yourself to when you move um, because, you know, you don't want to move out of one toxic uh, toxic situation into another toxic situ uh, situation all because you're, you know, you're being really hasty, okay? Make sure you're, you're looking at this with a clear mind. You already know that you're strong enough to do it. You've done things like this like this before if you need it to, Okay. But you know the truth. You can look at this and know what needs to be done. 
So Libra, get it done. Get it done. Get it done. All right. Let me know how it works out in the comment box below. Thank you again for rocking with me and being here with me while I try this new thing out. Let me know if you'd uh, like to see it this way or if you'd like to see my hands and sit there and just listen to me talk. So, <laughs> all right, you guys. Bye.